I decided today is a beautiful day. I make a lot of content that is heavy information based. So I'm basically producing things. I'm sitting in front of a green screen, I'm editing, but y'all really don't get to see any of the behind the scenes, behind the scenes kind of thing. So you know what? My YouTube page is growing. So what do I do? I decided to start vlogging. As you can see, it's beautiful out too. Let me just show you. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So beautiful green space, DTLA. I'm not gonna tell y'all where I live because that would be crazy. I am working today, but I'm stepping away for a minute so that I can quickly like just decompress some of my thoughts and just rants a little bit. It's a whole lot of people who like to hear me talk, so I love to talk. Let's go to the corner, look at that. City. First of all, I just wanna start the video off with, you know, I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful. Gratitude has really taken over my life in a way that I didn't think that it would take over my life. And what I mean by that is, I'm grateful for shit that I wasn't grateful for before. You know, like, I clean the floors with on my hands and knees because it gets the floors really clean, but you know, we moved into a smaller space. We live in a studio apartment we have for two years now, going on two years now. We're gonna get a bigger place next year. But I think going from a three bedroom, two bathroom house into a studio space living with two adults and a dog really, you know, changes the dynamic of how you feel about the things around you and how you relate to the world, right? So, I, I, mean, I remember moving out of that house and it was so much shit everywhere. I mean, I had filled up the garage, we had three cars, you know, and, and we weren't living the lives that we wanted to live, still. So we struggle, not struggling. I mean, we was out, we was living, you know, two income household. We both working and, you know, doing our thing, but we didn't feel like we was getting any closer to our goals. It constantly felt like we just had all this stuff around us that we had to maintain. So it was imperative that we let that shit go, you know? And though it may seem hard to some people to just say sell everything, but that's literally what we did. We sold everything, bookshelf, anything that wasn't nailed down and we didn't have no emotional connection to, it was gone, you know, and um, we and then we still took too much stuff. We drove all across the country with all that stuff in that trailer and got here and threw away so much more because you think that the space, you know what the space is going to be, but you don't know what the space is going to be. You just don't. You don't know what the space is going to be. You think, oh, man, this is like moving into a different bedroom of a house. And it's like, no, nah, it's not. Yeah. So I just found myself in a different wave of gratefulness and 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 reading and meditating and drinking water and taking care of your body, you know, it really just throws you into a level of growth that you had at one time. You know, a lot of us reminisce about, oh, college was so great with this. And oh, in high school, some, you know, some people feel like they hit their apex in high school. That's because, or high school or college, that's because you were growing at a, at a rapid rate and things were being, you know, tossed at you and you had to perform. It was almost like you knew how much time you had and you knew what you had to achieve. It was, the, the plan was set out. So with that same fire and intensity that, you know, and youthfulness and playfulness and, you know, all of these things, you know, now I'm going after my dreams and it's just extremely heartwarming. Like, you know, like I can't really explain how it feels, but every day that I wake up, you know, I give, I give to myself. And that's something that I, I didn't used to do. And I hate to, and India always says like, Indiana ain't a bad place. And it's not a bad place. You know, it's just the, the, the versions of the people that we became there no longer served us. So we had to move on. And the versions of ourselves that exist here, we're still building, you know? In no way, shape or form do we expect ourselves to just hit the ground running and be successful. It's like, no, we're learning a new, geography, a new, you know, a new subset of people who live here. You know, the people who come to LA, usually are like us, they coming for a reason. So it's just refreshing to be around so much creative and audacious energy, right? Like people who just believe in themselves and are out here doing the best that they can. And I'm not saying there's people, you know, who, who in our other location weren't doing that when we was in Indianapolis, you know. I think the, the surge of creative energy just aligns more with who we are and who we want to be. And that's why everybody's like, you glowing. It's like, I only do shit I like. I walk a lot, I drink water, I go to the gym, I play with my dog, um, I hang out with my wife all the time. It's like, you know, so much love and light is surrounding me as well as I am in the weeds, y'all. Like, I am researching, I am executing at a higher level. 
I am trying things at my job that I haven't tried in a long time, you know? It just puts you in a more positive light, you know? You feel me? I'm in love with the process. That's another thing that I'm, I'm very grateful for is just, I'm in love with the process, y'all. The process of building something from scratch. Not that I'm gonna just keep starting over a hundred times, but I don't think that's a bad thing either, you know? But I am a creator. And I don't mean that like, oh, I'm creating content on, no, I've been creating ideas, physical products like merch, all these organizations, communities, I've been creating my whole life. So, um, and I had hit a point um, before we moved that I could, I wasn't feeling creative anymore. Right at the end of my DJ career, it was like, I was just doing the same thing. I was being successful at business and getting gigs and doing all these things, but like, I had lost touch with my creative force. And that's the thing that I'm most grateful for getting back to, right? Like, I wake up in the morning and I have so many ideas. So many. I'm just writing them down in notebooks, page after page, you know? I'm grateful for that because there's some people who got all of the means to have businesses and, and, and do things and move around like they want to, but they have no creative ideas. They just, you know, doing other people's ideas and maybe making them a little bit better and, you know. But I, I have an overflow of creative, thoughtful things that are intriguing to other people and that spark conversations across industry. Like, it's just a good place to be. I think this is where I'm gonna close for my first vlog. I feel like I should do this every day. It's almost a form of therapy now. <laughs> Even though y'all should be going to therapy. Hopefully, BetterHelp will come sponsor this at some point. <sighs> it feels great. I'm in a good place. I'm doing so good. I've got so many great things happening. I love the fact that I can just open this and talk to y'all. I hope that you'll follow me here and continue to follow my journey. I'll see y'all soon.